good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have a top 10 list countdown for you guys if you guys did not know already yesterday we had ringside at fest ringside at fest what are you a dumb jacket yesterday we had ringside fest at home or ringside fest 2020 and we had a lot of epic wwe figure reveals guys if you want to go check that out definitely go check that out it was the last video posted on the channel we recovered all of the news all of the brand new figures that we're going to be getting very soon from mattel and wwe elite and all of that good stuff man tons and tons of great reveals and we're going to go through some of them in this video because today I have my top 10 wants or my top 10 most hype figures that I am super excited for that I can't wait to get into my personal own collection. So I do have a top 10 for you guys. We're going to run through it and let you guys know why I'm excited for it and all of that stuff, what my ideas are. And I also have some honorable mentions before we get started, but definitely go check out our Ringside Fest covers from yesterday. But I'm excited to dive in guys. So let's go ahead and start off with my honorable mentions. Now for my honorable mentions starting out guys, I have Elite 82 John Morrison. I'm not completely sold on the head sculpt I think I want to see a little bit more images or see the thing in hand and you know take a closer look at it before I really really want the figure but I do like it from the neck down I like the trench coat as well so we'll just see how that all plays out but Elite 82 Morrison looks good another figure that we have guys is Elite 85 Aleister Black I love Aleister Black I love his figures they're really fun to collect he's a very unique character and I use him in the fed so I am excited for Elite 85 Aleister Black I think he looks great even though the entrance coat's not the best that's Pretty, pretty much why he didn't crack the top 10 for me. So Alistair Black is here. We also have Elite 85 Liv Morgan. I think this head sculpt is beautiful. I think it looks just like her. I think it's a really great head sculpt. And Liv Morgan is a baller. So I definitely want to add her to the collection. One that I've never had. I'll probably end up adding her to the collection before this figure, you know, before this figure comes out because she is Elite 85 and that's so far away. But had to include Liv Morgan in my honorable mentions. Another honorable mention is going to be Umaga. Cannot wait to have this Umaga. I had the first one in Elite 40. I think it was Elite 40 Umaga, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that. But Elite Umaga, I actually remember the day I bought this from the Toys R Us across from my college when I, you know, just got into, uh, you know, Mattel WWE figures. But Umaga looks great. Another figure from the Royal Rumble set. And my last honorable mention is going to be Titus O'Neil. We have waited so very long for a Titus O'Neil, man. And uh, it's finally in our possession. We're finally going to get this thing. I think it's set to release here. Uh, the NXT figure got canceled and everything. So having the Titus O'Neil figure in our hands finally is going to be excellent. So Titus O'Neil. O'Neill is my last honorable mention, guys, but let's go ahead and dive into the top 10. So coming in at my number 10 spot, I have the WrestleMania 2-pack boxing set of Mr. T and Rowdy Roddy Piper. I don't know why, but I love Mr. T. I've always loved Mr. T. Growing up, watching him on Robot Chicken and watching him on the A-Team and just just watching him in, you know, just the, the I guess, the pop culture eye. He's just always been somebody that, that was super funny to me. I always enjoyed his work, and I've always liked his look and everything like that. So getting this figure, and it's so unique. You know, you have the boxing trunks. I love Rowdy Roddy Piper as well, especially you have the boxing gloves. You have the six shorts, the plaid. You got the cloth entrance robes. So many cool ideas for this, and we'll be able to put boxing gloves on all of our WWE figures, just not just these because they are interchangeable. So that is going to be excellent. So number 10, I have the Mania 2-pack of the box. Set. Number nine, I have a Royal Rumble figure, guys. It is the Elite Stone Cold Steve Austin from the Royal Rumble set. This is super nostalgic for me, and I'm a huge Stone Cold Steve Austin fan, so this figure had to go in my top ten. Uh, what deducted some football points for me was the uh, alcohol-fueled vest being left off. Um, obviously, I know why it's not there, but I'm definitely going to either have to put a decal or I'm going to have to hand paint that or write that in somewhere. I got to have the vest because I got to have it accurate. You know how I am. So I'm definitely going to have to fix that up. Maybe we can do that on surgery. We'll see how that goes. But Royal Rumble Stone Cold Steve Austin had to be in my top 10 for me. Uh, just a super nostalgic moment for me and just something that uh, I definitely got to commemorate in figure form. Coming in at number eight, we have the Fan Vote Central, whatever the hell you want to call it, series Seth Rollins. This is the Elite from WrestleMania 35. Uh, I already have a custom of this figure, so I am excited to finally replace that custom and have a figure that won't chip or anything. And something that I noticed about this figure, man, why is the left wrist tape in solid black and the right one has the accurate gold on the outlines? And why is the left one not accurate and it looks like just regular black wrist tape? I took a look at his attire from that night and he had gold on both. So I don't know what's up with that. Hopefully that's not the case. I hope that that gets fixed because I really don't want to have to paint that or anything. So that is something that I noticed yesterday when looking at the 
photos. But let me know what you guys think about that. But coming in at number eight is fan vote Seth Rollins. Coming in at seven, guys, we have Elite 85 Undertaker. I really enjoyed this matchup. I like the unique look of Undertaker. I really dig the head sculpt. I love the the like chest covering. I'm pretty sure I don't know it for a fact, but I don't know if this this little chest rubber shirt piece is even going to be removable. That's going to have to be something that we figure out for ourselves. But Elite 85 Taker is super unique. He comes with the shovel. I like the bandana. I like the attire. I love that match. And uh, it's just a really cool figure, man. I, I really am hyped for it. So Elite 85 Taker, I think we're going to be able to do some cool like fix-ups and switches and swappages with different heads and stuff. So that is another reason why I like this Elite 85 Taker. Coming in at number six, guys, we have the two-pack Elite set with Jeff Hardy and Triple H from when Jeff Hardy won the Intercontinental title from Triple H. Really hyped for this two-pack simply because I've always wanted a Power Trip Triple H in my collection with the gold HHH tire. That's another figure that I've never added into the collection over there on the Triple H shelf. So that is one reason why I think this head sculpt's going to look great. It, inter it includes my favorite version of the Intercontinental Championship and the Jeff Hardy hair is sick. So we're going to be able to do so many different fix-ups with Jeff, switching on head sculpts, switching off head sculpts, switching, interchanging all the different elites with the heads and the arms and all the different stuff. And uh, that would, that's what makes Jeff Hardy figures really fun is switching out those arm sleeves, switching out those painted heads, those non-painted heads, the flashback heads onto the modern bodies. And that's what makes Jeff Hardy super fun to collect. So that is one of the reasons this is so high on the list. Number six is the two-pack Jeff and Triple H. And I cannot wait to see what that head sculpt looks like. Hopefully it's not just a new Jeff head with the old rainbow hair. That would be really terrible. So hopefully it is an updated head. It did look like it was a newer head sculpt. So hopefully that's the case. Coming at number five, guys, we have the Ultimate Edition Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Now you're probably shocked. You probably expected this to be in the top three. It comes in at number five for me and I'll explain why. Um, Overall, I really, I, I don't really know why. I am hyped for this figure, but if you guys know me, you know that Hulk Hogan is probably one of my, one of the wrestlers that I've never really been a fan of. I do really want this figure and this figure is nostalgic for me and I love the way it looks that we've been waiting for this figure for so very long, but I don't know. I'm just, I, I don't know what it is. I'm just not the most excited for it. I like other figures better than this and I'm more excited for other figures simply because I can use it more. Now, this is a figure that I'm going to put on my shelf that it is probably going to be one of the only Hulk Hogan's until we get more from Mattel, you know, because I really don't own any of the older ones. I, I either sold them or traded them or something like that. So this is probably going to be one of the only Hulk Hogan figures in my collection, and that's fine with me. But this figure is really damn good. It looks really great. I can't wait to get it in the collection, but it did not come in the top three. It is a really strong figure, though, and I am hyped for it. And just because I put it at number five for my hype list does not mean that it couldn't win figure of the year or be up there in the contention. So we'll have to see about that when we, you know, rank our top 10 figures of the year. But Ultimate Hulk Hogan comes in at number five. Coming in at number four, guys, we have another Ultimate, and it's going to be Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, you're probably thinking, Brad, are you on drugs? How the hell are you ranking Stone Cold Steve Austin above Hulk Hogan? Well, Brad, it's pretty simple. I'm a bigger fan of Stone Cold Steve Austin. I like Stone Cold Steve Austin more. I, I grew up with him. He's one of my favorites of all time. And just seeing this figure, it looks excellent. I know we're going to get more accessories and just the customization of it and, you know, giving him some custom beer cans and maybe some other accessories and then maybe giving him some custom middle finger accessories and doing all these different things is going to be super fun for me. And it's just one of those figures I'm really hyped for because of what we can do with it. I'm excited to see what the torso comes out like, the double jointed arms and everything. And just Stone Cold Steve Austin, man, he's magical. So, and I just think overall, I'm just more hyped for it. So I, I had to put it above it. This is my most hyped list, the figures that I'm most looking forward to the most in a top 10 countdown. So I could not put Hollywood Hulk Hogan over Stone Cold Steve Austin when deep in my soul, I did not feel that way. So I went with Stone Cold Steve Austin over Hulk Hogan here at number four. Coming in at number three, guys, we have an Elite. It is Elite 82 Keith Lee. Now I'm not counting the Chase variant or the regular version, just the, the ability to have a Keith Lee. I'm putting them both here, I guess you can say, because I don't care if I get the regular version, the Chase variant version. It doesn't matter. I prefer the Chase variant version, but I don't care which version I get. I'm going to play with this thing all day. You got the nice big knee pads on there. Going to remove those, put some smaller ones on there so he can move his knees a little bit. Hopefully this guy's on ball joints like we discussed so that we'll be able to move him around and actually do the athletic poses that Keith Lee is able to perform in the ring. And this is just a figure we've been waiting for for a long time. He has a super cool move set. He's going to be super fun to pose around and review and everything like that. I cannot wait to get him in here. And um, nothing as far as switching out any parts or anything is coming to mind right now simply because it just wouldn't make sense. I mean, I thought about possibly some white boots on his Chase variant figure, but I don't know how I feel about it. We'll just, we'll, we'll see what's going on. But Keith Lee had to come in at number three. At the number two spot, guys, we have Elite 83 Edge. Now, did you expect anything different? I've been waiting for these attires forever when he first came out at, you know, WrestleMania and then backlash with these attires on. I was like, oh, snap a kiss. This looks fire. I love the chrome boots of the WrestleMania attire. I loved the uh, the Guns N' Roses attire. That's what I'm calling it from the backlash, the greatest wrestling 
match ever. And then, of course, we do have our Ultimate Edition Edge that is coming probably the beginning of 2021 in the Royal Rumble gear. And so, uh, so far, we've had, like, all of his gears that he's worn since he returned to WWE. And I'm really hyped for it. Edge is one of my favorites of all time as well. So, getting this figure that's updated and it's commemorating the memories and the moments that, you know, we got to experience in 2020 at the beginning when he returned and everything. And that's just super excellent for me, man. So, this, this is excellent. I can't wait for these figures. I definitely am going to have to touch them up a little bit, change some things out. But that doesn't deduct any football points. I'm really happy for it and really hyped for the figure because of how sick the attires are, how great the head sculpt is, and there's that. Now, at number one, I feel like it's pretty John Brown obvious what number one's going to be, guys. But number one is going to be Elite 82 Finn Balor. Now, I'm pretty sure you could have seen this coming from a mile away. I mean, just look at it. I mean, just look at it. Just look at it. How damn good is this head sculpt? The head sculpt looks incredible. I love the accessories. I love the attire. Um, I, I can't wait to do fix-ups with this guy. I can't wait to see what a demon paint looks like on this guy. I can't wait to customize and fix up and head switch and do all these things with it. Finn is one of my favorite performers in the world right now. And him alongside Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins, guys of that. Um, that I mean, this is just excellent, dude. So I can't wait to get Elite 82 Finn in here. The head sculpt's really what sells it for me. How long have I been requesting a long, thick beard like that that's like faded at the top? with the nice hair. I am going to get a custom made with his haircut to give him more of a longer haircut, but this is still going to go perfect. It still embodies the moment, the NXT heel Finn Balor perfectly, but that beard and the beautiful head sculpt and he kind of looks pissed off. I mean, that is what I've been asking for and we finally got it. So I am definitely most hyped for the Elite 82 Finn, but every figure on this list is fantastic. All my honorable mentions are fantastic and just because a figure didn't make the top 10 or my honorable mentions doesn't mean it's going to be a great one. I think the Killer Cross is a really great one. I think that the uh, there's plenty of other figures you could have plugged on this list, but for me, guys, this was my most top 10 hype, and I would love to know what you thought of it down in the comment section below. Let me know your top 10, or let me know your top 5, or whatever the hell. I'd really appreciate it down in the comment section below. For this shout-out, guys, I want to give a huge shout-out to James Fleming for this comment on our last video. He says, I hope my wallet forgives me, laughing face. I'm getting all of these new elites. Hopefully, we'll get a brand new red and yellow Hulk Hogan now. And yes, Brad, actually, I think we are in the Legend series after the DDP and the Brutus Beefcake wave, or it may even be that same wave. I think it's after the Ted DiBiase wave. The same wave that has DDP and the Brutus Barber Beefcake. I think we're also getting a Vader and a, uh, a Hulk Hogan, and I think it's going to be a Ruthless Aggression Hulk Hogan, like Undisputed Champion Hulk Hogan. Don't quote me on that. I think it's still up in the air, but I did think I heard that on the rumor mill, so just stay tuned for that so you may get your wish. But I think that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much to James for the comment. Thank you guys so very much for, for watching the video. Let me know what your top 10 is down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My damn toys to subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next video thank you